Hello. Let's head on over to the balloon. You're not the one that went through the portal. The balloon's all ready, sir. Just jump on. So I'll lead you to the boss, but I thought Stanley went through the portal, but you're snappy. You were the one in the Sheila thing. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's go to the speedway first. Mushroom speedway. So speedways in this game, or just like in the last game, you gotta do find four things. You can do a race, and just like in the last game, there's some stuff with Hunter. Like you can go find Hunter, and um, you could do a mini game with him. First, I'll do the time attack since that's what normally. This has been in every Spyro, so let's do it. But in this game, they're like a lot more linear with this stuff. Spyro 1, they were just crazy with this. And Spyro 2, they didn't. They're kind of crazy with that. Okay, get the spiders. Don't miss anybody. Last but not least, kill the butterflies. And there we go. And basically for that, you get gems and you get an egg, right? Yeah, Sparks just buzzes. Don't really need to listen to him. Oh my god. Something on my computer. Okay. Um, let's race the butterflies. Basically, there's a race and everyone to right now works in butterflies. Um, you gotta go through all the rings, if you miss one you lose, and those blue stars are speed up places, um, I don't think in, they're in this level, but there's red stars that give you, like, a little firework thing that you can shoot at other butterflies, and if you flame them, it'll slow them down. But, in this one, you probably won't get to the first place person until the third lap, and it's pretty hard to win, kind of. Well, not this one's not hard to win. Later ones are a lot harder, but this one you'll probably you won't get to that person until the, like the last lap. Let's see, we're in third after the first lap, but you'll catch them in the last lap, that's for sure. But, you, but in later ones, you're gonna have to use those fireworks to your advantage when you get them. Up to second here, and you pretty much have to hit all of these. Hey, that one didn't go through the ring, you cheater! And I made no ground in that lap. That's not good. Don't want to lose this. This is like the easiest one. Okay, I gotta make my move right now. Yeah. Uh, I might lose this, actually. I think I got stuck behind one of the butterflies earlier. Actually, no, that one didn't go for that. Okay. Okay, yeah, I won. By cheating, but, you know. Whatever. Yay. And we get another egg for that. And now we gotta go find Hunter. And basically Hunter just does his own little mini games with like Um like outer space animals. Like you know in the last game Metropolis with the sheep from outer space, he does that in this level, he does that again. 
But in, like, other levels, it's like space cows, like we saw in Metropolis and all that stuff. Okay, so he's in this big mushroom. Hello. Whoa! A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Um, wasn't... Look out, sheep. Here I come. Isn't the race course in the air? Okay, so turbo and fire. And don't get hit by their shots, because if you do, then you gotta do this over again. And I totally hit that. Yeah, this is kind of loud. Basically, since I'm holding down the turbo and the fire button. Oh, he almost got me there. Yeah, that's right. Man, it's not that easy to hit these guys, I guess. I don't get hit by his shot. Oh, how have I not hit him? There we go. Okay, where's the last one? Right there. Oh, really? Just because I ran into him? Oh, I still won. Oh, sweet. Probably because I killed him first before I killed myself. Oh well, suicide kamikaze, I guess. Whatever works. Okay. So we only have one thing left to do in this world, and that's the Sparks level. Which we will do after we beat the boss. Uh, let's go beat the boss right now. Level complete. I think you just need to beat the boss and then the thing will be open. Okay, guys, let's go. Midday gardens. But of course, there's always a boss on the way. And a cutscene. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I... I tried to scare him off, Your Highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster. And eliminate him. Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. <laughs> you, come here. Okay, and now we get to fight Buzz, which is his name. When I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you, I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. It's basically the character that you can play as will help you in each of these. Basically, you just hit him and you gotta knock him to the lava. And if you fall in the lava, it's a one-hit KO. This guy is really easy, though. I think he takes about six hits. Yeah, and then pretty much here, you just keep him at the edge, and then you'll be able to hit him right. He'll be like right next to the lava. So yeah, really easy. Okay, 
Okay, it's not a one hit KO, I thought it was. Okay, so now I'll put up flames near him. You gotta wait for those to go. Could have sworn that was a one hit KO. You're like right next to the lava, dude. Okay, now I get another new move, I believe. After he stops spinning. And I'll spit at you. <laughs> okay, one more hit. This guy's really easy. I think he's easier when he spits, because once he starts spitting, the thing goes away right away. This little barrier. And we, you've already beaten him. That easy. And Grayson. Okay, now we can go to Midday Gardens. I don't know why I dropped us off here in a random boss arena. So we had Sunrise Spring, and now we're in midday. Then we have evening.